Welcome back to the F-350 build. Today I'm gonna to be fixing the AC system on the truck, mostly the AC compressor and the serpentine belt. As you saw in the last video, I tried to charge the system, the pump was locked up, the belt kept spinning, the thing got really hot, and uh, you know, I was, it was pretty sketchy, I didn't like it. I unplugged it since because there has been a couple warm days where it wanted to turn the cool seats on, and you know, the pump is locked up, so that is an issue. I'm going to replace the pump, replace the serpentine belt, and then uh, you know charge the AC system with refrigerant. Some people in the last video were commenting about venting refrigerant to the atmosphere. The truck was wrecked, the cooler was punctured, and uh, it was empty. So I don't really have to worry about anything. So I'm gonna get to work, get this AC compressor fixed, and uh, have nice, cool AC. Here is the AC compressor. Hopefully it isn't too hard to get to. The six liter ones are almost in impossible to get to but what i'm going to do is going to pull the fender liner there's not too many bolts holding it on pull it out be able to get to the lines pull the lines undo the the serpentine belt and then undo the bolts for the ac compressor i already unplugged that harness like i said before because i don't want it engaging the clutch it's a magnetic clutch if the wire is not connected it's not going to engage it so uh let's get this fender liner and all this stuff off. It's got the AC compressor out. The easiest way to do it is from the bottom and pull it out the bottom. So you're gonna remove the stabilizer shock and also the first nut for the transcore lines. So it gives you this nice big hole to pull it out. And this is what I got sent, the serpentine belt. I wanted to get a new one since that other one pretty much just cooked on this locked up compressor. And uh, I'm surprised it didn't break when it did that. Here's a brand new compressor, easiest way. See how that right there turns in this one. It doesn't, no, that's the, that's the issue. So this compressor is locked up. This is the new one. They come with plugs in them and it should already have the oil included. You're not supposed to add a bunch of oil unless you take oil out of the system. The oil doesn't disappear. It doesn't get sucked out. I mean, don't, Put excessive amounts of oil in because there's some oil in the refrigerant I mean you don't need 
the more oil that you have that's unnecessary, the less efficient the cooling system is going to be. So just uh, be precautious of how much oil and usually AC compressors, they come full of oil.
Kind of like in a shitty spot. I mean, it's easier to unhaul than the uh, six liters, but. Thank you. 
Another smart thing to do is to line the compressors up side by side, make sure everything is going to line up, all the mounting holes, all the line orientations and the plug. You don't want to throw this thing in and it not plug in or it not have the right orientation for the AC lines. You got the wrong one or something. It's uh, just a good precaution. So just make sure to line them up, look at them. These ones look good. And uh, I'm gonna throw this one in now. The AC compressor is sitting there in its new home. And the only thing left to do, serpentine belt and charge the AC system. The serpentine belt's on. It's kind of a pain to route because there isn't any diagrams really on the internet or there's very few diagrams. I know there was there, but I found it. Oh, was there? But it pretty much just runs on uh, the top of this. You can't really see it, but it runs along the top of the alternator. And then there's a like tensioner. It kind of loops around that and then goes around the power string pump and then down to the, uh, there's an, another water pump down there. It goes around that, comes back up to this fan idler and then goes around the crankshaft and then uh, from the crankshaft it goes up to that tensioner and then back down to the AC compressor then up to this uh, I think this is another water pump you know this other water pump and then under there and then back so yeah if you're wanting to know that's uh, how she runs but the new AC compressor is all installed they can vacuum the system out with a vacuum pump and uh, then charge the system with some refrigerant and hopefully everything goes well, everything's connected and I have AC after this. So same setup as I had last time, hook up to the high and low side, pulling vacuum on the whole system, gonna do the 20 HG, should be there in a few seconds. Once it's there, all I have to do is disconnect the vacuum pump, connect a few cans of refrigerant, and I should be on my way to, uh, you know, to have an AC in the truck. And uh, I'll pretty much start it up like I did last time and hopefully I don't have any issues with the pump. But I, I feel like this pump went bad because of the, uh, the accident. The only thing I can think of is that's what happened. But uh, the frame wasn't touching it, but maybe the shock from the accident you know, did something to the pump. Way to test if the AC compressor is good, and I should have probably done this before, but I didn't even think it was bad, is this is the pump, and you should be able to turn that. It should move really freely and shouldn't have too much resistance, and uh, it should have some, but um, it shouldn't have a bunch. So if it has a bunch, it's probably bad. Don't do it when the engine's running because, you know, your hands, and uh, that's a good way to test it. So the AC is now charged, all the pressures are correct. It's like 60 degrees out, so that's, you know, 25 to 30 and 150 to 175 on the high side, which, uh, you know, the it feels nice and cool sitting here idling and, uh, well, it feels pretty cold. Driving, it'll feel a lot colder and uh, everything, it's not that hot outside, so it's not really, you know, that easy to tell how, uh, how nice and cool it's gonna be, but, I'm sure I'll be fine in the summer. If not, I will uh, redo it, but I doubt I will have to. My six liter I did, and that thing was always nice and icy cool, and so is the VR4. But uh, I'm really glad to get that AC compressor fixed. That was kind of bothering me, and I was kind of afraid to drive this thing very far because of it, even though I did drive it to Denver. So uh, yeah, now that's done, I'm kind of happy. So that is the end of this episode of the F350 build. I'm glad I got the AC fixed. Um, you know, just waiting for parts is kind of killing me on this project. Uh, any project, that's kind of how it is. I am having some stuff made for the FD. It's gonna be like six, six weeks until I get it. Um, same thing with the headlights, they're being made. So hopefully they're here eventually. I mean, I keep seeing like videos. I'm like, oh, maybe they'll be here next week. Maybe they'll be here next week, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they're, they're never here, so. One day I'll get them, I guess, and I'll put them on the truck and then I can put the front end back together. If you like the videos, make sure to subscribe, comment below, give this video a thumbs up. See you guys in the next episode.